Confidence by Russell Smith is a book of short stories which are all set in a contemporary large city like Toronto. It's about people um, who do different things but all urban professions. They might be lawyers, they might write for fashion magazines, they might be academics. One of the things that links all the stories in the collection is that everybody is hiding a secret of some kind. I chose the title of the longest story in the collection, Confidence. Um, that's a story about uh, different groups of people interacting uh, as if on a stage in a, an exclusive private members club. Everyone in the story is projecting confidence and yet of course they're all terribly insecure. Smith, who grew up in Halifax, longed to get away from the small municipality and escape to the big city to explore what makes a city a city. The complexity and the color and the density of a city and the variety of people. This book is about um, successful people. It's about uh, people who have made it to a certain rank of privilege. And I like to show inside fancy spaces, fancy nightclubs, private members clubs. I like to show what goes on behind the velvet ropes and the big guy with the clipboard. He didn't call him his friend Claudia till he got to a bar and had something reddish and harsh in front of him. Actually, he didn't call Claudia until the second reddish thing. He drank the first one in three burns. His eyes were stinging from it when he called Claudia. And then when he spoke to her calmly, but with that tone of resignation or melancholy that he knew to sound brave and gave her an update, the colors of the bar were quickly strong. The lights lush. He said, no, she's still in hospital. They're keeping her overnight. I love trying to depict stress. For one reason is that that's where drama comes from, but also stress is where humor comes from. The most hysterical thing about living in a city is that everything is so damn difficult to accomplish. I mean, just getting from A to B is extremely stressful. We're always late for something. There are always too many people wanting to do whatever we do. And that to me is at once exciting and stressful.